line dancing at the drop of a hat, saddling up on your birthday, and covering everything with cheese and bacon. Here are some of the really weird rules Texas Roadhouse employees have to follow. If you have two left feet, working at Texas Roadhouse may not be the best choice for you. That's because line dancing will likely be a requirement of your job. Fortunately, according to Indeed, line dancing isn't a standard Texas Roadhouse employee rule in every location. Users on Reddit have commented that new hires will get to take line dancing classes, and that if line dancing is a part of the requirement at your location, you can expect to have to dance at least once an hour. We have a, a certain song that comes on, kind of lets them know we're getting ready to do a line dance, and they'll go up front and do a quick little line dance for three minutes. However, if you try to avoid the line dance, you can expect to be written up for not making the effort. One Redditor said their best friend was even forced to come into work to line dance on her day off because they needed a certain number of dancers. Since she was a newbie, she got drafted. Restaurant lunch menus tend to offer smaller, more reasonable portions for less money, so eating off the lunch menu can be good for both your pocketbook and your waistline. However, Texas Roadhouse doesn't serve lunch during the week, and when they're open during lunch hours on the weekends, there's no lunch menu. Texas Roadhouse says that this helps their managers not have to work as many hours, and also saves on real estate costs since they don't have to be located in high-traffic areas to lure in the business crowd. With lower real estate prices, Texas Roadhouse doesn't really have to worry about being open all the time. Plus, Texas Roadhouse has over 5,000 guests each week, which is more than most restaurants. With everyone buying more expensive dinner menu items any time the doors are open, Texas Roadhouse is able to make more money. One big Texas Roadhouse employee rule is that it requires its host to act with HEART, an acronym standing for quote, Howdy, Engage, Arrive, Respond, and Thank You. That is, they must use a friendly and energetic initial greeting, engage guests in friendly conversation, tell the guests what they need to know about the restaurant on the way to the table, while acting with every courtesy, and thank them for visiting when they leave. Not only do servers have to hit certain talking points at your table, but they have very specific words that they have to use. This employee rule is part psychology and part branding. As a user revealed on Reddit, pay attention and you'll realize that food and drinks at Texas Roadhouse come with specific adjectives. For example, beers, margaritas, and steaks become, quote, ice-cold beers, legendary margaritas, and hand-cut steaks. The script and specific buzzwords are all a part of Texas Roadhouse's mission to provide legendary food and legendary service. In fact, 100% of Texas Roadhouse employee respondents on Comparably said that this mission statement is a motivating factor for them, and 17% said that it's the main reason they continue to work for the company. Within two minutes of being seated, Texas Roadhouse servers should start suggesting drinks and appetizers. They must recommend at least one alcoholic and one non-alcoholic beverage. They're also required to suggest at least two desserts. Being suggestive isn't abnormal in the restaurant business, but Roadhouse employees are pushed to upsell. A Redditor explained that the idea behind the Texas Roadhouse employee rule of upselling is to use psychology and sales techniques to get customers to buy bigger items or items at premium prices. If a customer asks for fries or a baked potato, the server will ask if they like to add ingredients like cheese, bacon, or butter. Our potatoes are as loaded as the folks at a Willie Nelson concert. It's the same case for entrees, except that it's mushrooms and onions as the add-ons. Unfortunately, according to Reddit, some upsells can be a little misleading since employees aren't automatically telling their customers that the extra ingredients don't come with the dish and cost extra. Texas Roadhouse has several rules about what you can and can't wear to work. It's a casual Texas steakhouse-style environment, so jeans are actually part of the uniform. You just have to be sure they don't have any rips and tears, and Texas Roadhouse will provide you with branded t-shirts during your training. However, according to Indeed, if you're thinking of working at Texas Roadhouse, you'll want to know that it's necessary to keep your shirt tucked into your jeans at all times. Unless management is feeling a little lax. Plus, you have to wear a belt. A 2015 Fruit of the Loom survey determined that men of all ages who tuck in their shirts make more money than non-shirt tuckers. 
And Today reports that sure tuckers also tend to have more job happiness and optimism for the future. It also makes it easier to keep your shirt clean while waiting tables. So there is a good chance that having servers with a more polished look helps make more money for the restaurant and helps maintain happier employees. Thus, this weird Texas Roadhouse employee rule is likely here to stay. If you hate being humiliated, don't let your friends and family convince you to go to Texas Roadhouse for your birthday. Otherwise, the server will drag out a portable saddle for you to mount, announce your birthday to the entire restaurant, and will ask everyone within hearing distance to give you a big, quote, yee-haw. Ready, one, two, three! Some servers do ask elderly people if they're up for the saddle, in case mounting it may prove too difficult physically. Nevertheless, they still get a big old Texas-style yee-haw. Redditors with Roadhouse experience revealed that servers don't necessarily enjoy the birthday saddle process. It can sometimes be difficult to gather enough servers for the festivities, and find someone who wants to make the loud birthday announcement in an already loud restaurant. Texas Roadhouse regularly sends in secret shoppers to ensure that servers are doing everything they're supposed to do. According to one Reddit user with inside knowledge, the mystery shopper will look like a regular customer. So every table the waitstaff serves between 4 p.m. and an hour before closing is suspect. The Redditor explained that the secret shopper is required to stay at the restaurant for a minimum of 60 minutes to have plenty of time to observe any missteps the server might make. They will have already reviewed information from the previous mystery shopper, so they likely have something specific that they're observing. And they're always watching to see who is and who isn't line dancing. According to a different Reddit user, if a server doesn't pass their test, they can be demoted to being a host or fired, revealing, as long as you hit certain talking points, greet them at the 45 second mark, and make sure their food comes out okay, you should be good. According to past and present Roadhouse employees on Reddit, there is an expectation for servers to sell gift cards. The potential for people to buy gift cards and never use them is always a bonus for a restaurant. It's money in the bank for a restaurant without necessarily having to perform a service or sell food. Total Touch says that 8 out of 10 people will purchase more than one gift card at a time, which can be a real moneymaker. Another interesting statistic is that 44% of consumers have visited a new restaurant or store because they've gotten a gift card. So it can be a way to get people in the door who have never had the Texas Roadhouse experience before. Unfortunately, one Redditor says that the Texas Roadhouse employee rule to sell gift cards can sometimes backfire. They've experienced customers who, offended by the hard sell, decided not to leave a tip. It turns out that Texas Roadhouse keeps track of all those upsells and gift card sales. According to one Redditor, at night's end, a server can expect the management to announce everyone's percentages from the shift, and that nightly contests are common to see who can get the best percentages. Prizes can range from not having to do certain duties or getting a free meal. According to Restaurant News, the point of employee competition is to increase how much the restaurant sells and increase morale among servers. Competition and the possibility of getting a reward encourage many servers to be on point, which is why many managers host nightly competitions. According to responses on Glassdoor, while some employees have found the contest to be fun because of the competition aspect, others seem to resent the idea of working harder for a free salad. Rather than having bread baked and steaks cut off-site and shipped to the restaurant ready to serve, Texas Roadhouse employs bakers and meat cutters. The bakers bake fresh yeast rolls every day and bake fresh bread every five minutes to serve with homemade cinnamon butter. It's a staple for Texas Roadhouse. This is gonna be the cheesiest thing I've ever said, but I swear we make them with love. While the bakers are staying warm and toasty in the kitchen, though, the meat cutters work in coolers with a temperature of 34 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the Kansas Department of Agriculture Meat and Poultry Inspection, 
Processing and cutting meat should always take place in an environment that is not above 50 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent bacteria and mold from growing on the meat. With kitchen restaurants being a warm environment, this means that cutting work has to be done in a separate cool room. However, it's usually more convenient to do the cutting work in the cooler, which is what meat cutters at Texas Roadhouse are required to do. Despite the sometimes frigid work environment, about 65% of Texas Roadhouse meat cutters on Indeed rated the job 4 to 5 stars. One said it was his first job, and he spent eight years doing it. Unfortunately, meat cutters never make as much as servers have the potential to make. There are plenty of restaurants that require their long-haired waitstaff to pull their hair back in a ponytail. After all, no customer wants someone else's hair in their food. However, Texas Roadhouse has a more unusual employee hair policy, with the restaurant forbidding employees' hair from touching their shoulders. In addition to this rule, posts from Indeed reveal that both male and female employees are required to keep their hair a natural hair color. Of course, in the kitchen, food safety policies dictate that staff must must wear hats, hair coverings, hair and beard restraints, or clothing that covers up any excess body hair. Otherwise, Citizen Times reports that they're in danger of being written up during health inspections. One thing you need to know about general managers at Texas Roadhouse is that they're literally invested in how well their restaurant runs, so they want to ensure that every customer who walks through the door leaves happy. When a member of the Texas Roadhouse staff gets promoted to general manager, they are required to make a $25,000 investment in the company. If you're wondering how that would be possible for someone working on waitress wages, it's because the company will actually loan the money to the manager to be paid back in installments. And if the general manager sticks around for five years, they can get the whole loan forgiven. Thus, according to Harvard Business School, the Texas Roadhouse employee rule to invest in the company as a manager is not as extreme as it initially sounds. Harvard Business School also says that a Texas Roadhouse manager tends to make around $100,000 a year, since competing restaurants only offer their general managers around $65,000 to $80,000 per year. There is definitely an incentive to stay on for five years or even longer. Plus, Texas Roadhouse says that the managing partner gets 10% of the profits, which drives them to have the staff follow all the scripts, use all the buzzwords, and upsell. All of these weird rules that Texas Roadhouse employees follow are ultimately about putting more money in the pocket of the management and the company. 